do people live and cope in the midst of violent conflict and environmental degradation? Well, I mean, I believe that it's innate in us to have resilience. Mm -hmm. It's just innate in humans to have resilience in us. And that after seeing so many wars and so many conflicts and so many destructions that I have witnessed in my life, in my personal life and other women's lives worldwide, I really came to believe that people fight in different ways. Of course, there is the fighting weapons that everyone pays attention to. Mm -hmm. There's also fighting, and especially women, fight with beauty, mm. with love, mm. with hope, and with dancing, with joy, and with keeping life going. Mm. And, you know, partially is we can't help but to keep life going, like things don't stop in conflicts, you know. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I always say people in wars, as someone who lived in war and worked in wars for 20 years, you know, you know, people fall in love and get married and have happy birthday uh, celebrations and go to school and grab, I mean, all this normal things in life keeps on going because that's how we are wired to, right? We, we don't pause life. But I also think this unique how women address that. They keep the backline discussion in the midst of conflicts going. They keep the life going, basically. And, and they keep it when I'm saying with beauty. Like, I really do not mean to be esoteric. They mm -hmm. really keep it with keeping their beauty, with keeping their home's beauty around, with their gardens, you know, with, uh, with keeping the birthdays going and the falling in love. They keep it with keeping that human resilience uh, going. And I, you know, every time I go to a war and, and I'm like this melodramatic activist, oh my God, you know, mm -hmm. I'm that humbled to learn that it is important to fight back not only with you know, fierceness, but with love and with joy and with beauty. I mean, my first lesson was I was in Bosnia during the war in Sarajevo, which was this besieged. It was, it was the Ukraine of the moment, right? That, that was almost 30 years ago. And I was like making it in the tunnel with the UN. It's a big adventure. And I like I get to Sarajevo and I was like, okay, what can I get you next time? Mm -hmm. and asking the woman and they're like lipstick. I'm like, lipstick? <laughs> what lipstick, you know? Yeah. And they said, because it's the smallest act of resilience mm. that makes us feel beautiful mm. and keeping beauty alive. And that we want that sniper to know he is killing a beautiful woman before he kills us. Mm.